Ever since I made my keto bread recipe, I have been craving a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And I'm sure a few of you have too. A regular peanut butter and jelly sandwich has anywhere between 60 and 100 grams of carbs per sandwich. So of course, that's out the window. So I have the bread, I need to find a jelly that works, and I need to kick up the game just a little bit more with a super high protein peanut butter that I had to make myself. But don't worry, you're not gonna be grinding up peanuts by hand or have to buy a $2,500 peanut butter extractor. No, no, not on this channel. So did I succeed in making the ultimate peanut butter and jelly sandwich? You'll have to be the judge of that, but I'm gonna show you how to do it right after this. The first thing we gotta do to make a low carb, high protein peanut butter and jelly sandwich is make the peanut butter. So the first thing we gotta do is get old Yeller. Oh yeah, there she is. So we're off to a good start already. Then I'm gonna use some of this powdered peanut butter. This already has most of the fat taken out of it because there's a lot of fat in that bread. So I didn't wanna add any extra to this. This is all about the protein. So we're gonna use this. And I'm just gonna put a third of a cup of this into old Yeller. So this is gonna be, of course, our peanut butter base. And I use this in the Reese's peanut butter cups, the Reese's cups bars, and all those delicious desserts. So it's a perfect thing to use in this peanut butter for the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now, if you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know I don't like to use a lot of powders and potions and all kind of rare and exotic ingredients. But for this, I need to use protein powder to up that protein a little bit. We all got a bag of this stuff sitting in the back of the pantry or the back of the cabinet somewhere from some old recipe that didn't work out. But if not, you can easily get it at Walmart. If you don't like Walmart or Amazon, you just need to get a good quality one. And you need to find a good zero carb protein powder. I really love this IsoPure brand. Now this is the vanilla flavor and it does have sucralose in it. So if you don't like sucralose, this may not be the best one for you, but just find a good clean whey protein powder. It needs to be whey protein. And they've got this in an unflavored as well. If you don't want that vanilla taste, but I like the vanilla and they've assured me they use only beaver free vanilla in here. So save the beavers, man. Anyway, I'm gonna take one scoop of this and according to the back of the package here, it says that's 31 grams. And I think most all protein powders are about the same. This is gonna add 25 grams of protein in there. So I'm just gonna dump this in old yellow too and then put the scoop back for next time. And I'm telling you, I'm just breaking all the rules today, but hey, this is gonna be delicious, so I hope you don't mind. I always tell you not to get anything that's low fat, but for Greek yogurt, the full fat ones have a lot more carbs in them. So of course I'm trying to keep the carbs as low as possible in this. And so I'm gonna do a third of a cup of this, which is gonna add about three grams of carbs, but it's also gonna add about nine grams of protein. So I'll just go right in with a third of a cup of this. And just get as close as you can. It don't have to be exact, man. That's an ugly cup right there. But just get all of it out in there and I'm gonna show you what this looks like in a minute once I start mixing it up. I'm just gonna get a little bit of water out of the sink just for the consistency of it. I want a nice creamy peanut butter consistency. So we'll just add the water a little bit at a time till we get there. I know I'm gonna get the question, is this keto? Keto is basically keeping your carb level low enough to where you can maintain a state of ketosis where your body is using its own fat for fuel. So this sandwich has somewhere around 10 grams of carbs for the entire sandwich, based on the amount that I'm gonna use in here, with the bread, with the peanut butter, and with the jelly that we're gonna do. So it depends on what you're gonna do for the rest of the day, and what you're gonna eat, where you can stay in ketosis and eat this or not. Now, if you're meat heavy, you could definitely make that happen. Have a nice steak or something, have this for lunch or have this for dinner and have the steak for lunch, either way. You can definitely make it happen. I'm just gonna take a tiny amount of water and pour in just like that. Just start mixing this. So we'll make like a creamy peanut butter. And of course, if you like crunchy peanut butter, you can always throw some unsalted peanuts in there too. Or you might want the salted peanuts. Hey, this is totally customizable, but this is a good base recipe for you to start with just to see what you like. I'm just gonna keep working this around for a little bit until we get a nice peanut butter consistency. If you like it a little bit thinner, you can do it a little bit thinner, that's up to you. And so this should be enough for about two peanut butter sandwiches, depending on how thick you wanna lay it on there. But see how that just kinda comes together like that? We've got a nice peanut butter consistency. 
If you can see that, I'm gonna try to get the Greek yogurt off this spoon. That's what it looks like right there. Perfect, creamy peanut butter. Yep, it tastes like it too. At this point, you wanna taste it. And if you're using unflavored protein powder, you're probably gonna to wanna to put about two teaspoons of my confectioner's sweetener in there. And I'll put the link down below to show you how to make that. I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon and I'm using the confectioner's version. So I'm gonna put about a teaspoon in just to sweeten it up a little bit because I've also got the jelly that's going in with it. And so you don't wanna over sweeten it. Now I'll just put my sweetener up and that is our peanut butter right there. Just make sure it's the consistency you like. Don't add too much water and make it too thin. Get it just like this. You see that? <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be the good stuff. So now we got our peanut butter. If you're planning on keeping this for a while, you're gonna make a big batch. For this size batch, I'd put about a quarter teaspoon of psyllium husk powder in it, just to kind of bind it up and keep it from separating. It should be fine, but that gives it a nice texture too. I'm real happy with the texture of this though. It's like a nice creamy peanut butter, so I'm gonna leave mine just like this. But if you're planning on making a big batch, I definitely recommend it. So we got our peanut butter. How about the jelly? Now for the jelly, I'm not gonna make it from scratch this time. I'm using this Palaner sugar-free with fiber strawberry preserves. Now before you freak out on me, the third ingredient in this is maltodextrin. And maltodextrin is a no-no, right? Well, there's a couple different types of maltodextrin. The maltodextrin that they throw in the Splenda sweetener is awful. It's the starch version. This is a digestion resistant maltodextrin. So basically it's the same as corn fiber. Another option I was gonna tell you about is the Chalk Zero version. And I'll put a link to that down below where you can pick it up. But the first ingredient in that is resistant corn fiber. So it's basically the same thing, only this is about a third of the price. You can find it in your grocery store. But if you just don't like the word maltodextrin in there, do some research about it, find out what they actually do to make the maltodextrin into a fiber in this. And I think you'll find too that saving a little bit of money on this is worth it. It also has polydextrose in it, which is the same thing. It's a digestion resistant sugar type. So you don't have to worry about it going into your bloodstream and spiking your blood sugar. But of course, like I always recommend, anytime you eat something new, you try it for the first time, check your blood sugar an hour afterwards and two hours afterwards, just to make sure it doesn't spike you up. But this is super simple. So we've already got our water because this is a preserve and a preserve is super thick. So what I'm gonna do, just put about one or two tablespoons of this in there, just depending on how much jelly you like in your peanut butter and jelly. I'm just gonna kind of work this around. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it just to make it more like a jelly. Cause that's a little too thick for my liking. Now you can just take the preserves just like they are if you want to. But I like to break it down just a little bit more like a jelly and it does just fine like that. Just make this fresh, cause you don't wanna have a bunch of this sitting around if you put water in it. So you can just, you know, mix this up for 20 seconds or so and it's good to go. Now you got a nice spreadable jelly like that. So how are we gonna put this together? Well, that's the fun part, isn't it? So we'll take two pieces of my keto bread. I'll make sure and put the link somewhere up there and down in the description so that you can make this if you haven't. And we're just gonna take a nice heaping helping of some good old strawberry jam, jelly, preserves, however you wanna do it. Man, that was a perfect amount right there. That's about what I like. And we'll just spread that on one side. Make sure you go all the way to the edges so you can get all that strawberry goodness in every bite. Oh man, I'm getting excited for this already. Hope you are. Get every little drop on there. And then once you got that, we'll go in with some peanut butter. And I could use a spatula for that if I wanted to, but I don't feel like being that fancy today. I'm just gonna use a regular old knife. Well, silicone knife. I'm gonna just spread that right on here like this. Go all the way to the edge. And like I said, this will probably make you a couple sandwiches. And if you wanna make more, Save more for later, then that's good. I'm gonna lay this on nice and thick here. Let me show you what that looks like. You look at that right there. I mean, that's a beautiful PB. We just need the J. And J is incoming. 
So is this peanut butter and jelly gonna change your entire life? Let's see. You will never know this is a healthy peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This is absolutely delicious. Make sure, that was a big mouthful. Make sure you get a big old glass of my keto milk to go with it. Click this video over here. I'll show you how to make it as well as an awesome banana pudding. Enjoy.